Hello and welcome to all you Virgos. Here is your monthly horoscope for July of 2021. And I'm so glad to announce you, dear Virgos, that for the month of July, there's coming some clarity for you. And oh boy, do we need it. I say we, because I'm a Virgo too. I mean, the sun in Virgo. Anyways, it's not a month. These are general horoscopes, by the way. So the general flavor of the month. And uh, it's not with eclipses or with full squares or whatnot. No, it's way more gentler. And there is some frustration going on, but it's just the beginning of the month. Like the first 10 days, you could say, because the Uranus-Saturn square is activated by faster planets in uh, Leo, Venus and Mars. And uh, there's going to be as well that clarity with your Mercury, out of its shadow, no longer aspecting Neptune anymore. So that's good news. And then I'm going to talk about as well, Jupiter going back into Aquarius and, um, uh, and Venus and Mars, of course, coming together on the 13th in Leo. So let's break this down. First, that week of frustration, what is this all about? Now for you, it's not that big of a deal because it's happening at the subconscious level. Of course, you could say, hey, but that is a big deal because that has a knock-on effect on other levels of our lives. That is true. But it is more like an inner work, so to speak, a work of the unconscious, making it conscious. The more you are conscious, of course, the less uh, difficult it's going to be. Um, the more you are unconscious, not knowing what's going on and not wanting to see or resisting what is in front of you, the, the, the more difficult it's going to be. Now, it's about the first week um, Mars will be in Leo and it's, it's expecting Saturn in an opposition from your 12th house to the 6th house. Now, the 12th house... Although it is an unconscious house, it's the house where we rest. It's the house where we connect on, on, uh, with the not so tangible world, so to speak. It's the, the house, a hidden house. So Mars in the 12th house and opposing Saturn could be a hidden enemy, for instance, related to work. Okay, you will have to deal with that, you know, and um, even when it's a bit out of your control and you will deal with that because this energy is not going to last forever. It's just a bit frustrating for a couple of days, you know, a week. Um, and then Venus comes also also into Leo and also opposing um, that same Saturn and squaring up to Uranus. So there's definitely something happening behind the scenes that you want, that you are very passionate about, but that is not going to happen or that has a delay. Now the 12th house deals with secrets. So that could be some secret desire that you're having, whatever it is, whether it is a romance, a love relationship, whether it is doing something or that is related to your work and you're brewing something. Um, the thing is that like the first week of July, it doesn't seem a good timing yet or maybe never. You know, it depends on the situation. But my advice is to trust the universe because the universe is way smarter than just one person, which is us. And um, there is a reason for that slowing down. It could also mean when you work in the creative world that you, you have like a blockage. You have like a writer's block or you have like, you have no inspiration at all. Don't fear that too much because again, it's very temporary. And it's there for a reason. Try to slow down, try to go with the flow a little bit. And as soon as on the 7th of the month, Whilst this is still going on, on the 7th of the month, your ruler Mercury is out of its shadow. That means clarity. It hits Neptune for the last time out of three times, which also suggests clarity coming up from another person. So other people, uh, a significant other person, um, stuff around that, you know, whether you are in a relationship or not. There is someone that catches your eye because of the Neptune in your seventh house and because of the Mercury squaring up to it, you're thinking about, you know, a person that you were not clear towards or probably more they were not really clear to you. And it's, it's going to show itself. So expect some clarities there for better or for worse. Be open for the truth. 
because you, after all, are a Virgo that wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, even if it's painful or not. Uh, it doesn't have to be painful at all. Uh, and I know that, that Virgos, they deal well with the truth. They really do. They rather have the truth in, in uh, not knowing, you know, what's going on. Could be also related to your work as Mercury goes direct in that house of work. So if you've been dealing with um, things that you didn't know that uh, what you're going to do with your work or it's on a different level or you want to go forwards in another direction, it's on after you could say that 7th, 8th, ninth of the month, then you can go forwards. And that is a good news because also then it seems to clear up that Venus, Mars in your 12th house as well. Because guess what, on the 13th and on the 14th, mark those days, you can do something very lovely, but behind the scenes. So it better be good, right? And um, of course, every I, I'm not here to judge, but behind the scenes isn't always, you know, uh, the most uh, following your integrity. But if you want to follow your integrity, you can do something very enjoyable uh that um you know venus and mars is passion after all and the 12th house is bedroom pleasures after all so you could uh just just escape with your lover and for a couple of days on the 13th 14th and have an amazing time so there is definitely frustration going on about action that you want to do but it's not possible but then after the 13th and the 14th there is more enjoyable energy and but it's like you're enjoying without other people knowing Anyway, without having judgments here, that can be a good thing as well, right? It can be a good thing that you're just preparing something um, behind the scenes and that you're going to show it when Mars and Venus comes into your sign. So Venus is in your sign already on the 23rd and Mars follows it a bit later. Um, da -da -da, and that is lovely as well. Yeah, Mars on the very end of the month, on the 30th. You're going to have Mars in your sign as well. So whatever it is that was hidden, you are coming out with it um, a bit later on towards the month. And especially, um, you could say, the end of the month. There is this new, fresh start for you with lots of attention towards you. And you're going to like that. You're going to like that energy. It's very enjoyable. So things are clearing up, Virgos. Um, that Mercury squaring up to Neptune is, um, for people who have a lot of Virgo energy, very foggy. And uh, because they want to, Virgos want to pinpoint, they want to analyze, they want to know what's going on. And if you, if, if, if that is the energy, um, the opposite energy going on for you, you have to go with the flow because you can't resist it. If you resist the universe, it's becoming tough. So um, if you're watching this still before July, just keep in mind it's, 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 uh, it's all going to be well and you're all going to have the information, but be a bit patient uh, if you can. And last but not least, you're going to have Jupiter uh, coming back into Aquarius at the very end of the month. And that will be around the 29th of the month. And that will be your sixth house. So your day-to-day -day routines are going to be more meaningful, more blissful. Um, and Jupiter stays there up until the rest of the year. So there is some finishing touches to do with work, to do with administration, to do with your routines. And uh, maybe before that, it was a bit neglected. And you're, you're coming back to it to give it a bit more purpose and to uh, give your work also purpose. That is a possibility with Jupiter there for sure. Having said that, I wish you a very good month, dear Virgos. Thank you so much for listening and see you next month. Bye-bye.